Today, I'm gonna show you how to make lightning effects kind of like this that you can use for your Twitch streams, YouTube videos, logo animations, anything like that. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. So some people have been requesting that I do some lightning effects using Saber inside of After Effects, just kind of lightning that shoots out from the center or does some kind of crazy animation moving across the screen inside of After Effects using Saber. And today we're gonna be tackling that. But before we get into it, I just wanted to say that I do try to stream every Tuesday and Sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash Bravity. Also, if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe and be taking a look at the the analytics and I was super shocked by how many people watch videos that are not subscribed versus subscribed so if you really enjoy the content please do me a favor of subscribing to the channel and without further ado let's jump into After Effects and animate some lightning flying around all right guys so here we are inside of After Effects a brand new project all I've done is import a logo just in case we want to throw it in to show you how you'd use this inside of a logo design but like I said you're gonna need Saber from Video Copilot it's a plugin for After Effects you can get it completely free there will be a link in the description where you can download the plugin and then there's plenty of videos on YouTube and all around the internet that show how to install Saber into After Effects, so it's really easy. But what we're going to do is we're just going to start by creating a new composition. 1920 by 1080, 60 frames per second. That is perfect. We'll hit OK. Go ahead and disable caps lock real quick. All right, so now we just need to create a new layer, a solid, just like that. This can be whatever color we want, so I'm just gonna leave it this blue, just like that. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we click on our solid down here, and we're gonna go up to our pen tool. This is for creating masks and whatnot. So we're gonna click that, and we're gonna create a layer mask that moves kind of across the stream screen like a bit of a lightning bolt. So something like that doesn't look too bad. We can go ahead and grab them and move them around. There's a couple jagged edges that I think might be a little bit too jagged. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do that just like that. So there we go, we got our mask. And what we can do is we can now go over here to our effects and type in Saber and just drop it onto our layer. And there we go, we got a Saber layer. What we need to do is just go to Customize Core, hit the drop down, and under Core Type, we wanna change it to Layer Mask, and boom, you'll see exactly what we just drew comes across showing the Saber. Before we move any further, I just wanna say that you gotta jump down here to Render Settings and change this from black to transparent where it says composite settings make sure this says transparent that's so you can put it over footage and you don't have just a black background the whole time you see if we toggle transparency it's on top of a transparent layer now so perfect go ahead and turn this back to black so we can see it better now we need to make this look like lightning and the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna go ahead to the drop down that says distortion and when we hit down distortion we're gonna go to core distortion and we can just jump up the uh, distortion amount here and you'll see that it starts to look crazy like like lightning. Now I'm going to go ahead and shrink our core by coming back up here, bring our core down a little bit, just like that. Maybe bring our glow intensity up a little bit more so it looks crazy. And boom, we've got this really cool looking lightning effect. Now keep in mind, you can change the color of this to be whatever you want by changing the colors up here. I'll leave it as a bit of a just like a really cool blue like that. And you can mess with all sorts of things. You can even set it to like fuel and then come down here to the distortion amount and then change that as well, just like that. So you can use like the presets and then change the distortion amount. So let's go Inferno. That already looks kind of crazy. Let's do a different, let's go Mist and then you can change the distortion amount. So you see, you can get like really crazy cool. That almost looks like water. So this is a really awesome idea for creating awesome things using Saber. So choose a preset and then mess with the distortion amount. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back to default. And then when we mess with the distortion amount, you'll see you get kind of a lightning effect. Now it is time to actually give our lightning bolt some animation and to make it kind of come on to the screen. So we just wanna zoom in down here a little bit, bring our playhead to the very beginning of the composition. And we wanna head into to our Saber effects here into the Customize Core tab, and we want to go to where it says Start Offset and End Offset, and go ahead and hit the Stopwatch next to Start Offset, hit the Stopwatch next to End Offset, and now we want to set one of these to zero. So I think I want to do End Offset. Yeah, that'll look good. So bring the end all the way to zero, and then maybe jump forward like, let's go 50 frames, and bring the end offset to 100. So now we'll see that it kind of draws on like a lightning bolt just like that. That is looking really good. Let's go ahead and play that now that it's rendered through. Look at that. That is looking awesome. So now what we want to do is we want to have it wipe off again. So we have it animating on, we want to have it animate off. So when we get to about halfway through the animation, so you can see the dots of our animation here, when we get about halfway here, it's like layer 20 or uh, frame 25, let's go ahead and add a keyframe by hitting the drop down of our effects here, Saber, and come down here to our customized core. So start offset, let's go ahead and add a keyframe there, and then come here like 25 frames after the animation as well. 
like that, so 75. And now we're gonna go ahead and move this start one to 100. So now it wipes off again. So now we have it like coming on and then it catches up and goes off. So beautiful, just like that. That is looking really good. So let's go ahead and wait for it to render and then play it again. Oh yeah, that is a really cool looking effect. And if we want to, we can add, just like I always like to do, let's go ahead and delete that keyframe, add some keyframe interpolation to this. So um, go ahead and select them all with a box just like that. Right click, go to keyframe assistant, and then select easy ease. And if we select two of the keyframes and maybe add like a little bit of a shape like that, beautiful. Then select this one and do the same kind of shape here. There we go. So now we got a bit more of a nice looking animation probably. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, so this almost finishes completely before the start actually ends. So let's see how that looks now. Oh yeah, that looks really cool because it's like wow, like it's a lot more powerful, kind of like lightning. So that looks really good. And now we are pretty much done with the effect once we've created one, because I'm gonna show you what we can do now that we've got this one lightning animation going. What we can do is we can now take this and kind of rotate it around and position it in places coming off of the center of your composition. So if we hit our title and action safes down here, we can go ahead and make sure our lightsaber, or our, not our lightsaber, our uh, lightning bolt is kind of in the center just like that. Let's go ahead and duplicate it, and then rotate it around like this. Have a lightning bolt coming off this way. Duplicate it again. Have a lightning bolt coming off this way. And what I just did right there on accident is what I was gonna show you in just a second. You may be thinking, well, that's cool, but all these lightning bolts are about to look the exact same, but we can go ahead and fix that in just a second once I place all of these. So let's place another one up here, and then let's place one more. I'm duplicating these by the way by hitting Control D on the keyboard or Command D if you're on a Mac and then I'll just duplicate it and I go up here to my rotation tool and then my move tool and just place it like that. That is looking really awesome. And then what we can do is we can click on them and you can go ahead and drag these little mask nodes around to make different shaped lightning bolts. So all your lightning bolts don't look the same. So let's make this one look like that. Let's go ahead and click this random one here and make it kind of go down here and fill up more of this little blank space. So we can go ahead and add some more uh, randomness to all of our uh, all of our lightning bolts. This one over here, let's go ahead and make it a bit more pointy right there. Make the beginning look a little bit different. So now as you can see, our lightning bolts are now starting to look different. And then let's go ahead and add one more. Duplicate this guy again. And let's go ahead and rotate it and put him coming up right there. That'll look cool. And then let's go ahead and move around our uh, our uh, stuff to make them look a little bit different. There we go. So now we got a bunch of different looking uh, lightning bolts. And you can see how crazy this image is already looking. And if we play it now, it's going to take a little bit to render. But let's go ahead and watch it real quick. You'll see this absolutely insane just lightning strike effect coming out of the center of the screen. Looks awesome awesome and this would be great for some sort of logo animation like at the beginning of a YouTube video or even like a stinger transition for Twitch you could have lightning come like out and then your logo comes in and then the lightning goes away and the logo goes down you can do a lot of stuff with this kind of explosive lightning effect and then keep in mind you don't have to do lightning like I was showing you in the presets up here you could have it be like fire or um, any kind of like fluorescent looking thing instead of lightning so let's go ahead and play this now Look at that. Look at that lightning just wow. Bam. That looks crazy. And now like what I was saying with the logo, let's go ahead and bring in the logo here. Drop it on top like this right there. And we'll go ahead and move our saber layers forward a little bit like this in time. And let's go ahead and animate our logo coming in. So if we hit this drop down, go to scale, maybe move it forward a few frames like that. Keyframe and then put it at zero down at the beginning. Select these, keyframe assistant, easy ease. Then do a bit of a keyframe interpolation, just like that. Have it come in real quick, and then the lightning bolts come out from behind it. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like once it finishes up rendering. Let's see. Wow, look at that. That is a cool logo intro. Whoosh, bam. And then once the lightning goes away, you could have the logo like fly at you or then scale out or whatnot. But it's really cool to create like some awesome animated lightning effects inside of After Effects. And that is pretty much how you do it. And like I was showing you, so if we select this one, go here. Um, let's go Haze. What does Haze look like? Nah, Haze is boring. Let's go Nebula. 
Nebula's pretty cool, actually. Let's go ahead and leave, let's go do Nebula. And then distortion amount, let's make it a little bit more crazy. So Nebula at uh, 69, sounds good. So let's go to default, let's change this to Nebula. That is looking like crazy chaos. So let's go ahead and let that render now and see what it looks like afterwards. And there we go. It is pretty much finished rendering. So let's go ahead and take a look at it now with the nebula. Holy crap. That looks freaking cool. The nebula is awesome. I would highly recommend using nebula with distortion set to like 69 or just up the distortion. Because look at that effect. Take the logo off and everything. Look at that. I'm kind of impressed by myself just by creating that right there. That looks so cool. As you can see, messing around a saber can be really fun and you can create some awesome stuff like this and you just watched me create it. So get out there and make yourself a saber logo animation, a stinger transition, intro for your YouTube channel, something like that, and make sure you tweet it to me when you're done with it or post on the Discord. There's a link down in the description where you can post your work to my Discord. But that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We really just kind of sat down and had some fun with saber. I, w I had a path that I wanted to go creating the lightning strikes and it got a little carried away from there with this whole nebula thing i hope you guys enjoyed it watching me just mess around inside of after effects and i hope you guys take this technique and make something incredible and send it to me on twitter or discord but once again before we leave i just wanted to say i do try to stream every tuesday and sunday over on twitch.tv forward slash gravity so make sure you're jumping over there dropping a follow and maybe catching a live stream if you're interested and i'll see you guys in the next video